hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i have another interesting video for you guys uh oh where do i even start from <laughs> so i got a job in april of 2021 and i want to share with you guys what that process was like what the job search process was like the resources i used and you know just the whole story of how i got that job but before we get into this video make sure to hit that subscribe button like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you can get notified when i post my videos and without further ado so if you're not joining this channel you know i've been i've been job hunting since the since the day i was born <laughs> don't mind me i'm exaggerating but since i came to the u.s um, I've been job hunting and it's been a crazy ride. I didn't have any internship in school as some of you may know. So it was a bit difficult getting full-time offers. How I first got this opportunity or how I started the journey to this uh, job opportunity was through a conference. So I attended South by Southwest which is like a large entertainment and technology conference that is hosted by the city of Austin every year. It happens in March of every year and so I was opportune to attend this year's conference so this year um, during the conference I was networking with people talking with different people different recruiters from different companies and so I reached out to this particular company through their information on the conference website I reached out to them they gave me the email of a recruiter to reach out to and you know talk to about my interest in the company so i reached out to the recruiter you know sent her an email like hey my name is Tessa so you know i'm interested in your company this is the role i'm interested in i gave a bit i gave her a bit of background about myself and why i think i'm a good fit for the role and you know just pushing out that email into the universe and hoping that it will catch <laughs> But I sent her that email and she responded back to me and was like, oh, that she actually has a role available. That she actually has a position open for that particular role that I wanted, that there was an opening available. So she sent me the link to apply and told me that when I apply, that I should let her know. I was like, yay, thank you, no problem. I'm going to apply for the position and let you know. Please don't be like me. I took two weeks to apply for that job. <laughs> Please don't be like me. So when I finally applied for the job, I emailed her back that, hey, I've applied for the job and I hope to hear back from her soon. So she responded that, okay, she's gonna take a look. So she took a look and then she looked at my resume and she was like, oh, sorry that we're only hiring grad students or people who are about to graduate this May. And I was like, hold up, hold up, what? I already graduated. I'm a graduate, I have my degree in hand. Do you want me to show you the picture? <laughs> so I was like, and I already graduated though, that I already have my degree, I graduated in December 2020 that she probably read my resume wrong or something so she now looked at it again and she was like oh my bad that, is, that she actually sees it now that I've graduated that she should go ahead and schedule an interview for me and I was like <laughs> yay so she went ahead, she scheduled an interview um, with a quality manager and another supervisor for me. On the D-Day, you know, as God will have it, I did my magic. <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, but I, I interviewed for the position and as God will have it, they liked me. And I really sold my save. Maybe a small hint of desperation must have been there, but who cares? Because <laughs> I was really, I was really frustrated at that point. I just needed a job, man. So they liked me. I had that interview at like 10 a.m. in the morning, and around like 2 or 3 p.m. I believe, they called me back and offered me the job. I was so happy. Oh my god! You should have seen where I was jumping up. Hey, <laughs> should have seen where I was jumping up. I was so happy. I got. I was so. I was like, oh, finally. I've gotten an offer, I don't have to worry about, you know, job hunting again. I don't have to stress over not having money and all of that. Oh no. It was such a joyful day. Eh? Ah, I was jumping all around. I called my dad, called my mom, called my sister, called everybody. I told all my family, told my uncle, my auntie, everybody. I was like, ah, people, guess what? I've gotten a job. <laughs> I was so happy. Oh my God. Because you don't know how, you know how when you've been looking for something and then you finally get it like you're like oh my god it's just 
I don't know, it just felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders and it also just it just felt good to finally get at least one yes in this my life. <laughs> so I was so happy I was jubilating everywhere and then they they you know asked the normal other questions about oh do you need sponsorship and all of that. So because I was more because I have three years of OPT and I was more concerned about getting experience than um caring about sponsorship i told him i didn't need sponsorship so i told him i don't need sponsorship because i was more interested in getting experience and building my resume and building my skills but i told him that i was actually on visa so he knew from the beginning the recruiter knew from the beginning that i was on visa but um i told him i didn't need sponsorship because i really did not need that at that time i had three years to work so i figured that something else will pop up before the three years is over so you know they accepted they were like oh yeah sure that's fine there's no problem with it and then you know went on to do every other process so the resources i used for job hunting were mostly online resources and conferences so i attended SWE, nelby south by southwest tmcf conference so i attended those I attended a lot of conferences and then for job boards where i was using to apply i used linkedin zip recruiter indeed and also supplying on company websites and referrals so people who had already started working i'll talk to them get them to refer me because most times referral works best than any other method so i i, I was able to get some interviews through referral too so these were the methods that i used i kept applying online every day talking to people checking job boards making sure that i'm networking effectively at conferences and stuff like that so it was, like I said, it was through a conference that I got this job offer. And also I tried to keep track of my applications, my job applications. So anytime I would apply online, I had this spreadsheet where I would put in the information regarding the job so I can keep track of how many applications I've submitted and also what stages they are at. So I used Notion for that. I didn't use Excel. I used Notion. Notion was just easier because I could synchronize it put on my phone and on my laptop so if i do it online on chrome i can um put it up on my phone if i need to quickly add anything to it so i was using notion so yeah that was the process i used i kept applying online i kept going for conferences i kept talking with people trying to get referrals um i talked to recruiters i network networked at conferences, network at institute, leadership institutes. So it wasn't only conferences, I also went for a leadership institute, TMC was the leadership institute, but they had a job fair. So I attended all of those, networked to people, talked to people. I'm also part of this program called Wave Board by Girls, where I'm paired up with technology um, experts, or I don't want to say experts, more like women in technology who are working in the in a tech company and they help me with my job search process and also give me advice and generally just mentor me so mentoring plus all those other things i was doing kind of helped me so yeah this was some of the resources that i used to get this job offer it was a crazy ride it was frustrating i won't even lie um but we thank the lord almighty Mercies. Anyway, if you have any questions, if you want to know more about the particular thing, if you don't understand something I said, just let me know in the comment section down below. I will be sure to explain. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Cheers, have a good day. Have a nice one. Enjoy the day.